Question number 4. f of x equals x minus 3 into 3x square plus x plus a minus 35 where a is constant. Part a. State the remainder when f of x is divided by x minus 3. The question has one mark. When you, when you can write a function, okay, let's take a simple number, let's say uh, 17. You can write the number 17 as, <coughs> sorry, 3 times 5 plus 2. 3 times 5, 15 plus 2. If you can write a number in the form, if you can write a number in the form uh, a times b plus c. You can write a number d as a times plus c. Then this is the remainder when the number is divided by 3 or by 5. If you divide 17 by 3, your remainder is 2. If you divide 17 by 5, the remainder is 2. In general, if you have a function f of x is equal to something a times b plus c. Here a, b, c are all functions of x. If you can write this function in this form. So when f of x is divided by a or b, this term here will be your remainder. You don't need to do anything at all. Straight away you can say the number here minus 35 is the remainder. You don't need to do anything at all because just so one more question. Straight away write minus 35 is the remainder. Part B, given 3x minus 2 is a factor of f of x, show that a is equal to minus 17. The question has two marks. When this function is divided by 3 minus 2, or in other words, this 3 minus 2 is a factor of this function. If factor means when you divide, the remainder is 0. So, using remainder theorem, if this is a factor of this function, your f of equated to 0, 3x minus 2 equals 0, find the x value 2 upon 3. So, if you substitute 2 upon 3 in the place of x, the function will become 0. So, that's the information. The remainder theorem is what we are going to apply here. Replace x by 2 by 3 everywhere. So, it will become 2 by 3 minus 3 times 3 into 2 by 3 whole square plus 2 by 3 plus 8 minus 35 is 0. So they want you to prove A is minus 17. Simplify this, you can get the value of A already. You simplify this, it will be minus uh, 7 upon 3. Here it will be, you can cancel out 1, 3. So it will be 4 by 3 plus 2 by 3 plus a equals 35. Bring this term here. So it will become uh, 6 upon 3. 6 upon 3. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 upon 3 is 2. 2 plus a equals 35 times, bring this term here upside down, minus 3 upon 7. 5 3 is 7. 2 plus a is minus 15. So a is minus 17. That's it. You got the solution. So what you need to be aware of when a factor this is this expression algebraic expression 3x minus 2 is a factor of a function that means your remainder theorem says if ax plus or minus b it can be ax plus b or ax minus b in general if this is a factor of a function f of x then the remainder theorem says, the factor theorem says, f of plus or minus b by a will be 0. If it is not a factor, the remainder theorem says, you substitute here, you get the value here, right? The value is the remainder when the function is divided by this. So you need to learn this factor theorem and remainder theorem. So we are given expression ax plus b, ax minus b here, find x, substitute here, it will be 0. The remainder will be 0 because this is a factor. And that's the information we use here to find the value of a.
Part C, using algebra and showing each step, each step of your working, fully factorize f of x. The question has 5 marks. We are going to factorize this f of x completely, but before that we got the value of a as minus 17, substitute here. So it will be x minus 3 into 3x square plus x minus 17 minus 35. So we are going to remove the bracket and simplify. So it will be take x and multiply everything 3x cubed plus x square minus 17x. Take minus 3 and multiply everything minus 9x square minus 3x minus into minus plus 3 times of 17, 30 plus 21, 51. And you have a minus 35. Simplify this. So you will have 3x cubed, x square minus 9x square is minus 8x square, minus 17 minus 3 is minus 20x, and you have 51 minus 35 is 16. So this is your f of x. Okay, now our f of x is this. We need to fully factorize this f of x. If this is a cubic function, if you don't know a factor of this cubic function, there is no way we are going to factorize this. There are methods to factorize this, but that's the methods are not included in our syllabus. So we need to have at least a factor of this function. But if you look at the previous part, part B, we know that 3x minus 2 is a factor. It's given that 3x minus 2 is a factor. So we are going to use this factor and long division method to divide this function by 3x minus 2 so you can factorize this function. So we are going to use long division method now. So take this 3x cubed minus 8x square minus 20x plus 16. We are going to divide it by 3x minus 2. So take the first term, if you don't know the long division method, take the first term of this first term here. You divide them, 3x cubed divided by the first term, 3x. You get 3, 3 cancel, xx cancel, x square. x square is supposed to be here. And multiply both the terms by x square. x square times 3x, 3x cubed. x square times minus 2, minus 2x two square and change the sign and add them it will be cancelled. So minus 8x square plus 2x square is minus 6x square. Bring down the next term minus 20x. Now do the same thing. Take the first term divide by the first term here 3x. So you'll have 2 1x and minus. So you put minus 2x here Multiply minus 2x by both the terms here. Minus 2x into minus uh, 3x minus 6x square. Minus into minus plus 4x. You need to change the sign in order to cancel them. So minus 20 minus 4 is minus 24x. Bring down the next term plus 16. Now do the same thing, minus 24 by 3x, it will be 8 minus 8x, minus 8 I think. So minus 8x into, minus 8 into 3x, minus 24x, minus 8 into plus, minus 2 is plus 16. It will be cancelled when you change the sign. Your reminder should be 0, it must be 0 because 3x minus 2 is a factor of this function. Now you can write this function as, the divisor and the quotient multiplied by quotient. That's it. But again, don't leave here. You need to factorize this quadratic function also. Quadratic function, how do we factorize? You can write it as you can use any method, product sum method or anything. It will be x minus 4 into x plus 2 if I'm not wrong. Because when you multiply, you get minus 4x plus 2x is minus 2x minus 8. So that's your answer. This is how you fully factorize the given function.
the given function. It can be any function. If it is a fourth degree function, if you divide by a linear expression, you will get a cubic function here. Then again, you need to factorize the cubic function. But mostly, you will never come across with a function with a degree 4, mostly degree 3, so it will be easy for you to factorize.